above my eyebrows. So I'm just gonna keep them to the side here and you can just ignore them. Hello everyone! I thought I would do another hair tutorial video today because you guys seem to enjoy them. And I haven't done one in a while, I think since Chris since Valentine's Day. So I thought I would make an updated one with some looks for spring. And all of these looks are really easy, quick, and they all contain some sort of braid in them. Because I think braids are perfect for spring because they're effortlessly pretty, romantic, and graceful, kind of like birds or angels. Actually, I wore one of the hairstyles to an event and I posted a photo on my Instagram, I'll put it here. And a bunch of you asked me to make a hair tutorial on how to do that hairstyle and I'm so happy that you did because I was actually planning on showing you in this video. Um, yeah, I'm so happy that you liked it and happy that you want to learn it. So I'm actually going to start with that hairstyle right now. What was that? That was like a, I wanted to, I wanted to snap but it was kind of like just a thumbs up. I don't know. Okay, let's start. Flashing lights and we Okay, first up we have this really complicated looking braid, but it's really not. I guess it would be called a three-way braid. Brush your hair out so you have no tangles, and then take the upper front two sections kind of above your ears, and tie them together with an elastic. This is really so easy, I promise. You don't want to put the middle back part of your hair inside the elastic, just the side parts. And then take the ponytail and flip it up and over and down so that it kind of makes like a loop and do that twice. And then I like to pull out some hair to make it look a bit thicker and looser, I guess. Okay, now take that middle section of hair, separate it into three pieces and just do a normal braid all the way down. You held on tight to me cause nothing's as it seems and spinning out of control tie that braid with an elastic then carefully loosen up the braid by pulling out just the outer edges of each sort of braid curve thing I don't know what it's called I hope you can understand what I mean and then separate the remaining hair in half to two equal parts and do two normal braids on each side tied with an elastic at the bottom. Didn't they tell us to rush in the things in you flash your green eyes and me? Haven't you heard what becomes of curious minds? Ooh, didn't it all seem new and exciting? I felt your arms twisting around me. I should and then you'll have something that kind of looks like an Eiffel Tower. Yeah! Okay, moving on. Pull on the outer edges of the braid again to make it look loose and thicker. And then you're gonna take your three braids and create another braid. So just braid like you normally would, bringing the outside piece into the center and then outside into the center all the way down. Tie the end with an elastic and then remove the other elastic from those other braids that you don't really need. Take a small piece from the end and wrap it around the elastic so that it doesn't show and then pin it with a bobby pin. And that's it! See? It's so easy but it looks so pretty and complicated. We found Wonderland, you and I got lost in it and we be Don't need permission, made my decision to test my limits Start by spraying a little bit of water on your hair to make it a bit easier to do a Dutch braid. Now to do a Dutch braid, basically it's kind of like a French braid, but you're taking your hair and putting it under the center instead of over. That's how you get the Dutch braid look. Take three sections of your hair and then put the right side piece under and into the center and then the left side piece under and into the center. Then with the right side piece again, grab a loose section of hair from behind the hair and then put it under into the center again and then do the same with the right side. So each time you're picking up a new piece of hair with the other piece that you're putting into the center. I hope that makes sense and I hope you can see with this video. Dutch braids aren't that difficult, they just take practice. I literally sat in front of the mirror for about two hours before when I was learning how to do the Dutch braid pigtails and just practice and practice until I got it right and now I can do them so easy and fast. So just practice them a bit at first because I think it's worth it because they're super cute. The key to this is always making sure you pull really tight each time you put a piece into the center. 
center to keep it tight all the way down. So we're gonna keep braiding all the way down until your hair is about halfway up. And then you're just gonna do a normal braid without the Dutch braid part all the way down and tie that with an elastic. Again, gently pull out the sides of the braid. You can keep some small pieces out to sort of frame your face, those little baby hairs. I think that gives a little soft, pretty touch. Do the same Dutch braid on the other side. Then tie both Dutch braids into the center with an elastic. And then remove the two lower elastics that you don't need. Tie all of your hair into a pony and you can leave it like this or you can continue and do a sort of messy bun look. I just grabbed my hair and randomly pushed it around till it looked okay and then tied an elastic around it. And that's it. I just think Dutch braids make everything look gorgeous. Take a side section of your hair and do a Dutch braid again. So separate it into three pieces and move the pieces under and keep Dutch braiding it until you get about three quarters to the back of your head and then just do a normal braid all the way down. Standing with an army Dark times, you can always find the bright side I'm amazed by the things that you would sacrifice Just to be there for me How you cringe when you sing out of tune But yeah, it's everything So... And then tie it with an elastic And as always, loosen up the braid Wrap a little piece around the elastic and pin it to hide the elastic. Then grab all of your hair and do a simple ponytail. You can leave a few loose pieces around your face down. I always like to do that. Take a small section of hair from the ponytail and wrap it around the elastic and pin that to hide that elastic. Then lightly tease your ponytail to make it look big and thick and fluffy. And that's it. When I'm with you. I really, really enjoyed filming that video actually. I got the hairstyles right really fast and they're super easy. Usually it takes me like a few tries to get it right and perfect, but um, yeah, these ones are really easy to do. They look complicated, but they're not. Like if you can braid, then you're good. Um, and I think they're really perfect for right now as the weather's getting warmer and you want to take your hair off your back and your neck. I think they're, they look super cute and they're yeah, easy, fast everything. I want to know in the comments which one of these hairstyles you like the best. And of course, if you try any of these hairstyles, then please tag me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook with the hashtag looktag so that I can check them out. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really, really like making hair tutorials, so I hope you liked it. And please remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll leave all the links below. All right, I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!